Hey, 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 y'all. Come on in. Get back here. Get back here. Come on in. Get in here. Okay, I think I'm going to end this one tonight. Uh, this is my new Gingy cup. Yeah, I like my little Gingy cup. And yeah, I said that I don't celebrate none of that, you know, them, them the things like that and all that. And I don't. I don't. But listen, I'm like you. I like nice things in my house and all that stuff too. And my kitchen is themed gingy for winter. I do that all the time. I got angels on the walls and snowflakes. I don't do none of that other stuff. I love me some gingy. Ain't nobody telling me I can't have gingerbread. I love gingerbread. I love pumpkin pie, sweet potato pie, like all that stuff. Okay, so I got my gingy cup of coffee. And that's the last cup because I had to get in. I couldn't. I couldn't not finish it because it got my lion's mane in there, my ashwagandhas, and then and then the uh, the, the cordyceps and the, and the reishi, and then what's all them other ones? And I got a whole bunch of in there in my coffee, and I get them. And trust me, it's brain power, brain power. So anyway, let's get to this. Like what I'm telling y'all again. I'm gonna just give it to you briefly. You need to know more about it. Go on my previous videos and they're going to tell you they're going to school you with all the stuff we've been talking about i've made several videos i know but take it slow because what you're coming into the fruition of understanding is this is not an m it's not an m it's a w because you are a chosen watcher you're a holy chosen watcher i came into this knowledge many years ago watch my previous videos and learn who you are that's what i'm here for it's my purpose in life because as a chosen one I'm telling you right now, a lot of people don't realize what the true, true meaning and essence of that is. You're designated to be someone that gives. Your life is designed to be giving. And I know that you've experienced things throughout your life that has shown you that such a task as giving and being of yourself and being an empath, you have experienced some trauma and people taking advantage of you and you've experienced narcissisms and gaslighting and trashing and lying and scapegoating and black sheep of the family. Oh, the list can go on and I know it do. Child, I know it do because I've been living it too. But one thing you notice and I'm going to tell you right now and it's going to resonate with you is you've always overcome. And you've come out shining. You've always risen above and got back up on that horse and did it again and did it even better. And you always got your blessings. You always came out on top and you shine, you shine. Don't give up now. Even though these times look grim, that's the devil. That's the devil. That's the devil. This is more than, this is more than just your time. You are about to evolve with this transition and with this shift. You're evolving into something you could not even conceive. The powers that are within you. You're a spiritual being. In that realm, we are magnificent. We are angels. A holy watcher is an angel. Yes, you're an angel. I know you don't see it because in your earthly physical form it doesn't resonate, but you're an angel. And the reason I have to have my hand this way is because you're looking at me through a mirror. It's a scrying device. I had to say this with each previous video. The scrying device is anything that's your black box, your TVs, your cell phone you're looking at me right now. It's the reflection is in reverse. Your PCs, your gaming device, all that stuff, laptop, all of it. You notice it's in a black box. Even your big, giant, screen, smart TV is a black box. And unfortunately, Satan got us. The demons and the spirit beings, the evil ones, they're watching us. And they could see right through this mirror. That's why I made a video telling you how stars like Beyonce and other celebrities have come forward and said that they don't like it. They don't have mirrors in their house because they took the oath and they gave their, their life to Satan. So their demon appearance shows up when they look in mirrors. They hate mirrors. So they cover up mirrors in their house. There's videos about that where they talk openly that they cover the mirrors in their house. So... We're going to continue on that. The last thing I was telling you about that it got cut off because, you know, we only got the 10 minutes on the talk was I was telling you all your abilities and gifts and how they get extensive. And these are things just telling you is to help you recognize who you are if they resonate with you. So I said many and I left off at the point where when you get into relationships, a lot of times the chosen ones, we're so, we got such a big shine that we attract the wrong people. So we get the wrong people in a way. We're the ones in our lives. We're the ones that experience the domestic violence because they're attracted to our shine. And like people get addicted to drugs, that's a demon getting on your back because they're trying to break you down because you're chosen. And just like that, a person can be that monkey on your back. You hear people talking about that monkey you got on your back is that your partner that's your wit 
that's messing your life up. And sometimes us don't even realize it because we love them so much. Like a man could be with a woman and she's dragging him down. She keeps getting pregnant and having babies and collecting welfare. She got them all bound up on child support and all this. He rising above working his ass off. And he, excuse me, I didn't mean to swear. Ooh, did I say that? I'm sorry. Anyway. I, you know, God forgive me for cussing. That's one thing I'm still working on. Listen, I grew up in a household of swearing. So, you know what? So like speaks to like, and I'm not making excuses for it, but just listen, sometimes you can't reach people unless they can understand the same lingo. You know what I'm talking about? Talk to me now. Leave me a comment. If you resonate with it, say I resonate. I'm chosen. I resonate. <laughs> so anyway, you could be in a relationship with somebody that's like that monkey on your back. And they always doing things that just keep dragging you down. You trying to rise above and do things more and more. They don't want you going out. They don't want you hanging with somebody. They don't want you dressing this way. That's not just possessiveness. That's to prevent you from shining so somebody else will get you. You don't see it sometimes. You're so in love and you don't realize you you are with somebody. They're buying you presents. You live together. That person could be on you know, welfare or whatever, and Medicaid, and your butt is working your butt off, and you paying most of the bills over there, you ain't supposed to be paying, and she's on Section 8 or whatever, you know, how people do, and like, you don't even realize, every time she swipes that EBT card, it's triple fold what you got to pay back in child support, just her having that Medicaid in your, her pocket, they gonna make you pay that back in that child support bill, and dental bill, and all the I seeing appointments, listen, you she if you got a partner that really really truly loves you and they match your level they're on the same level as you and you're a chosen one so they more than likely ain't you need to get out of that and i know they got kids now i can't walk away from my kids listen if it's meant to be it's meant to be if god wants you out of that he'll get you out of that and you'll still be able to take care of your kids and make sure they're just fine i'm just saying there's there's ways that god can do this for you or you could stay there but you could help this person to elevate because they got potential. I mean, some people will go to school and they'll try to match your level, but sometimes they just can't. Like you lose weight, but they can't lose the weight. So they're still in that slump and they don't want to work or they start working a job and then they get fired or they quit. And then, you know, it's this repetitious cycle. They're trying, they're trying, but every time they fail, they go right back to getting on that aid and that food stamps and that Medicaid. And you back to paying for everything. And, you know, you this is one of the examples of how you could be up here and they could be down here. And it's not balancing out. No matter how much you're making it work, you're really, truly miserable, but you don't want to admit it, being the empath that you are. And then in a reverse situation, a woman, can be with a man and she could be just putting up with you know he he's so possessive it's cute he loves me <laughs> no he beating the, the living you know what out of your kids and witness and all that the house is upheaval it's not happy it's just you know and he's cheating on you and doing all these things because he know he ain't good enough for you he knows that you all that so i'm gonna do it to her before she could do it to me type of thing many a men that are chosen. Listen, there's chosen ones out here that don't even have their self-esteem built up yet. So they're in situations where they are intimidated by a certain type of woman and they feel insecure and she's a bad mama jamma. You know she chosen. She owns businesses and properties and she's helping him elevate. They got a house with a three-car garage and a swimming pool and all that and she took on your kids and she's the best stepmother in the world and you cheat on her because your insecurities, you're intimidated. You swear she's cheating on you but baby ain't cheating on you so what happens you come home one day she done packed up and left and you're stand, standing there in the middle of an empty house and the phone rings and baby how could you leave me i don't want to hear it you was cheating so and so this and that i'm so sorry will you come back no she gone these are chosen ones she too smart for all this you messed up because and all along she never cheated on you you got to get your emotions in check as a chosen one you have to control yourself. That's them chakras. Align them. It's all about emotions. It's all about emotions. You master them with God's help, and you'll be right on track, and you'll be doing what you're supposed to be doing. So lastly, it's almost done. <laughs> this is a whole nother video. I was going to talk about falsely accusing people online. But that, yeah, that's going to need to be another video. So what I was saying with this is in regards to this, there's all kinds of chosen, and there's faulty people. We, we, we're all in different phases of our life. But with the shift going on, what's magnificent about about it is God is pulling you and prodding you and poking you and getting you into this position so your life is going to get cleaned up. So if these videos about being chosen are resonating with you, then keep on doing the work 
because you, you, your life, you, you, you are special. You are anointed. You're a holy watcher and you're meant and destined for other things. So do not sway because you sinned or whatever, or you're in a bad situation. God can turn it around like that. Okay. So holy watcher, keep watching. I got more for you coming.